it looks like the perfect day has finally arrived for me to oversee the pasture. It looks like I'm gonna have just enough time to get all the seeds down before it starts to rain. Since it's been quite a while since I harrowed the pasture, I might go over and do it again just so there's a little bit more dirt exposed for the seeds to get laid down on top of. This tiny pasture already has some grass coming up. I laid this stuff down last year, so it is getting pretty thick. Over in Goose and Whiplash's pasture, it looks like the seed I laid down last year is coming in nice and thick as well. This one is looking okay to put some seed down without harrowing again. I'm kind of hoping these pastures are okay to put some seed down on too because it looks like the sky is getting a little bit darker. It is not supposed to rain for another three hours, but I think they might be a little bit off. As you can see, some of the older grasses are already starting to come up. There is quite a bit of soil exposed, so I think it will be okay if I put down the new seed on top. I did feel a few little stray droplets, so I'm going to get moving so I can get all of this seed down. I noticed there are some freshly hatched little birds hopping around learning how to fly. This guy seemed a little bit lost. Tiny does have a tendency to try and pounce on the bird, so I wanted to move this guy on his way so she didn't get tempted. After a few little tries, it seemed like he was able to fly pretty well and was on his way. We have been getting snowstorms on and off, but it has been adding a lot of moisture to the ground, so the grass is starting to grow. Typically every year I hand seed everything, but I decided this year since I'm doing all of the pastures, it would probably be a good idea to invest in a seeder. A bunch of you guys bought some bags of seed off of my Amazon wish list, and that was so awesome to see. So thank you everyone who purchased a bag. I did get a few questions about what kind of seed exactly I overseed with. And this is mostly ryegrass and it's got some fescue in it and clover. The clover probably won't actually grow out here. But the ryegrass is perfect for the weather we have in Montana and the horses seem to really like it. I don't have any pregnant mares typically so the fescue grass is fine to have out on the pasture. I had to make some modifications to the mount on the four-wheeler for the cedar to fit on. I do think I still have a few more pieces to put on it before it's ready to get used. I did want to put this seed down in the last couple days, but it had been really windy, and this morning it looks like there is hardly any wind. It is always a bummer when you go to spread seed and it just blows away in the wind, so zero wind is the perfect time to do this. This cedar just attaches to the back of the four-wheeler and I have to put this lever on. It will control the little door at the bottom to adjust the amount of seed that's coming out. The little spinner thing will spread the seed for me. I have no idea what that piece is for, but it's probably important. This is the bracket that it came with and obviously that did not work, so I had to go out and do a slight modification. I think I put this lever on correctly, but it seems pretty chintzy. I think the little bolts are supposed to move so you can make sure that this door doesn't get open, but I could not get them off, so I am just going to duct tape it. I did a very rough calculation about how open the door needs to be, and then I was ready to get to seating. This seater is electric. I did make a little bit of a modification to the plug it had some pretty chintzy wiring so I just put some tape on it so it doesn't get water in it. This gets power from the cigarette outlet so I plugged it in and tested it out before I put the seed in. It has a little button to start and stop the spinning which seems like it works pretty good. I just have a few little tools and the directions to put away before I get started out in the pasture today. This handle does not look like it's going to work properly, so I do end up just slapping some duct tape on it. I don't really have time this morning to figure out how that Daddy. works for real, so the duct tape should work just fine. The sky looks like it is getting pretty ominous. 
It is pretty warm though, so I don't think it's going to snow. The weather said it was supposed to rain as well. I decided at the last minute that while I'm putting the seed down, I might as well drag. It won't cover the whole area I'm working, but it should rough up the ground just a little bit and hopefully it'll help some of the seeds take. I did have somebody ask me in another video about the fence I have. This black fence is safe fence it's electric and I just have a strand around most of the pastures out of all the electric tape I think this works the best and it does have a lifetime warranty which is pretty nice because I'm not a hundred percent sure on the seed calculation I did I am going to start in whiplash and goose's pasture it is pretty small so I should be able to guesstimate the amount of seeds a little bit easier. I brought eight bags of seed out with me and this should do whiplash and goose's pasture and then one of the boys pasture. The four wheeler is topped off with fuel so I should be good to go for this whole activity. There are a few pretty bare spots here and there that I'm going to try and put some extra seed on this morning but for the majority of the pasture, it's just gonna get completely overseeded with a light sprinkling. I decided to start in a fairly bare patch over here. With a few bags of seed loaded up, I was ready to start doing this little pasture. I think I may have hit the gate with my little drag, but that's okay. I'm able to see exactly where I've already put seed down, so that was a nice accidental feature. I have the little door on the cedar half opened and I think that's the perfect amount of seed for how fast I can drive. I just have that little area over by the boys pasture and then I'll be done with this one. And you guys can see it is actually snowing on the mountain so we're going to get some precipitation pretty soon here. It is above freezing so it should just rain even though it's snowing on the mountain. I am going to load up with another bag of seed. This is what it looks like. I have used this seed in the past, but I think they changed the coating that they put on it. It is supposed to be some kind of micronutrient boost. It seems like it might be some kind of marketing ploy, but I have gotten just straight seed with nothing on it, and that doesn't seem to germinate as well out here. With the tiny pasture done, I am ready to tackle one of the big ones. These bigger pastures really aren't that big. They're only five acres, so I should be able to zip through them pretty quick and beat the rain. I have a little bit of seed left over from the smaller pasture, and it looks like half of this little cedar is clogging up, so the seed is not coming out like it should. I think the coating on the seed is causing it to kind of stick together. My duct tape fix isn't really holding the door open like it should, but I'm just going to keep going. About halfway through this pasture, the wind really started to pick up and I noticed that the storm was kind of accumulating all around me. It seemed like it was raining everywhere except right where I was trying to put seed down. I still think I should probably have plenty of time before the storm actually gets here. I am going to load up the last two bags of seed I have for this pasture and finish up dragging. This pasture is a little bit tricky because there are quite a few gopher holes everywhere. My duct tape fix is not working quite well enough. It is not holding open this little trap door. It seems like the vibrations from the four-wheeler is slowly closing the door. Hopefully it'll stay open long enough for me to finish dragging this pasture and putting the seeds down. And when I get back to the barn to pick up the other seed, I can try and fix it a little bit better. I am cruising along pretty much as fast as I'm able to go with this whole setup. As I was dragging along, I did notice that there was a bigger storm cell kind of brewing off in the distance. This is pretty much a typical spring storm out here. It is very common for it to be nice and sunshiny for the first half of the day and then around 3 or 4 o'clock it will get really cloudy like this. It is fairly early on in the day so I wasn't expecting it to rain quite this soon. 
I am starting to get a little bit worried that I may have miscalculated when the rain was actually going to come today. With the mountains being so close, it can change the weather quite a bit and it's not always super accurate. It's much easier for me to just look outside and see what's going on than try and figure out what the weather's going to be. I still have to fill in all these gopher holes, but that is a project for another day. I just really want to get all this seed down so it can be completely done. I topped off the boys water and spread a little bit of extra seed on this bare patch by the entrance to their dry lot. Naturally as soon as their dry lot actually gets dry it will rain again so hopefully it won't be too much to make it a giant mess. And it looks like I'm out of seed for this pasture and I did cover all the area I needed to so I am going to hightail it back to the barn and get the rest of the seed. I kind of feel like I'm in the eye of a big storm because it is raining or snowing all the way around me. By the time I got back to the barn and loaded up the four-wheeler with more seed, I noticed that it did start raining quite a bit. I decided to grab a little bit heavier jacket just because I knew it might take me a little while to do the last pasture. And by the time I got out there, I knew that I had made a serious miscalculation. You could see pretty clearly the storm that was blowing in and it dropped about 15 degrees in temperature. I could just see the dark clouds blowing and they were getting much too close for comfort. I had gone back and forth about whether I should finish doing the job I came out here to do today or if I would wait until another day. But with the coating on the seed, it is heavy enough for me to spread even when there is a little bit of wind, so I decided to load up the four-wheeler and get to work. I am so looking forward to the nice green grass coming out. I just do not want to wait to put this out any longer. If I hurry, I think I can get this down before any real precipitation starts. This last pasture is the most bare pasture and it is going to need a lot of overseeding. For some reason the soil out here is a lot more rocky than the other pastures and the seed just doesn't seem to sprout as well. So I'm putting one extra bag of seed over this entire pasture. Just in the amount of time that it took me to empty the three bags of seeds into the hopper it started snowing. The wind really picked up so much so that I lost track of a few of the bags. I didn't really want them blowing all over creation so I did run and go grab them before they went too far. But by the time I made it back to the four wheeler it was pelting little tiny ice balls. It is times like these when I don't really appreciate living in Montana so much. I already had the seed loaded up so I figured I might as well spread it out. The wind had really picked up, but with the weight of the seed, I was able to get it from the hopper to the ground without blowing too far. I am so glad that I decided to grab my heavier jacket because this was not super fun. I had to put on my sunglasses just so I wouldn't get pelted in the eyeballs with little chunks of ice. When it was time to reload the hopper, it was really starting to come down. At this point I was so close to finishing I figured I'd just load up the rest of the seed and spread it. By the time I got done I was freezing. But as I made the last pass around the pasture I was so happy that I finally finished this task. My hands were freezing and I was soaking wet. I was really excited to get back to the truck and sit in there with the heat turned on for quite a while. The one really nice thing about putting this seed down in a storm was the drag made it really easy for me to see where I had already put seed. So other than having to do it in the blizzard, it was pretty easy to get through this whole pasture. And that is where the mountains usually are, so we are in kind of a white out condition right now. I think I was pretty close to getting a little bit of frostbite on my hands. But luckily I had already done all of my chores for the morning so I could hop in the truck and head home. 
as soon as I shut all the gates that I missed. On days like these, I really question whether or not I am going to end up staying in Montana for much longer. But I know the next couple of days when the sun comes out and the grass starts growing, it will be a completely different story. When summertime rolls around, all this hard work will pay off. The horses will have a really nice pasture to go out onto. And I will finally get a break from all of these crazy chores. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video.